Hi, this video is brought to you by Tech Direct Archive. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can quickly resolve this application error. You can see my screen. You can see this error that is popping out, popping up. This error uh, came up when I was trying to launch um, a game on my system. Sometimes this um, application error can come out not just when you are launching a game it may be another application entirely so i'm going to quickly show you some of the steps you can take to resolve this issue so to recap what i was trying to do um this is the game i was trying to launch on my system let me double click on it so this is what is currently going on Anytime I try to launch the um, game, I keep getting this error. So I'm going to show you some of the things you need to check on your system so that this error will no longer pop up. So one of the steps that you need to take is um, going into this uh, website. Uh, Microsoft website to download the uh, DirectX end user runtime web installer. So um, you can select your language and download. So once the file is downloaded, then you can install it. So um, some of the games they make use of all these files. So once you install it, then you should be able to launch your game without any issue. So this is one of the steps. You come to this website, it says a Microsoft website, um, direct SN user runtime. You can download, select your language, download, and you just install on your system. So this can correct the error that error that was showing up earlier so this is one of the step i'm going to show you another step now that um, you can take um, the other step um, is to open your windows update check if it is updated as you can see on my screen um, my system is currently updated my windows is updated so um, I'm good to go. You can further check for updates if you want to do more. But as it is, uh, this particular area is fine. So there is no issue. There is no update that is hanging that could be causing uh, that particular error. So um, I'm going to show you another step now uh, where you need to also check on your system whenever you are having that error popping up. Another thing you can also do is to run the um, program or the game as an administrator. Um, let me set this under compatibility. Uh, select this. Each time you launch the application, it will run as administrator. You can select this. You can as well select the compatibility mode and apply ok so let's see so it's still throwing the error so um, we're still going to try some other options now to see whether it's going to correct it yes another thing you can um also check is uh, under the windows features to confirm uh, if your .NET is uh, is installed so let me launch it now let me open this optional features so um i have this .NET framework 3.5 then 4.8 so um let me select 
let me select this too. Let's see whether um have something um I I doubt it whether this will fix it, but let's let's try it. Um it's part of uh, troubleshooting. So sometimes the your dot net on your system can as well uh bring up uh, some issues if it is not uh installed for some application so let's just uh, put it on let's install it so after some time um, we're going to come back and see um if it is uh if the installation has finished so we're going to, okay window needs files from windows of to finish installing some features so um i'm going to download that now and come back then we'll launch the uh, application again to see whether the issue is still there so i'm going to download now come back so let us try to launch the game again now um the .NET have been installed so let's see whether it's going to correct it the error i'm still having it so that means we still have more things to check on the system so let's check another um another area where um this issue this error can be resolved so um, another thing we need to also check is the uh, dll file that um, we currently have the architecture is it 64 bits is it um, 32 bits because um, um, initially when i was um, installing this game um, there was a request that I need to install. No, when I was um, launching it initially, that I need uh, a DLL file. So I have to come to this page to download the X input file. So um, I think initially I downloaded the 32 bits so which um i had it to the windows folder so now i've downloaded the 64 bits so i'm going to replace this 64 i will replace the 32 bits with this 64 bit i just downloaded so um i have it here this is uh this is the 64 bit i just downloaded um, you can see this is 404 kilobytes the size why this is the 32 bit which is 79.8 kilobyte so i'm going to copy this now this x input file i will copy it then i will go into my those so this is where i'm going to drop it so let me delete this one that was that i added initially so i'm going to paste the 64 bit x input here now so i've dropped it now so i'm going to let's see let's try and launch let me refresh let's try and launch it now you can see 
So that was where the error was coming from. I was um, trying to assess the game with a 32-bit uh, X input. So that was why we're having that error. So sometimes you need to also check the DLL file um, that you are using. Is it um, is your system 32-bit? If your system 32-bit, then the DLL file will must be 32-bit. If it's a 64-bit system, then you must use DLL file of 64-bit. So that was where the issue is coming from. So we no longer have that error popping out now. So um, we've actually been able to troubleshoot the issue and we're able to resolve it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.